your response is a good segue into our next question, which is uh, regarding labels. Um, based on what I can see from your campaign materials, two of you guys have labeled yourselves conservative Republicans. One of you has labeled yourself a liberty conservative. So, what I'd like to know is please explain what that label means to you and how do you qualify that for the voter. So, Stacy, if you would... So I consider myself a liberty conservative. Growing up, my values that were taught to me were very conservative. My parents immigrated here from Taiwan, and they, you know, the, the Asian culture is extremely conservative. Um, you know, I, I would almost say a little bit more conservative than, you know, the Republican conservative. Um, so, so for me, I, that's something I grew up with, and that's something that's very innate to me. But for me, I really understand that as an American, you know, not everybody is, grows up with conservative values and not everybody might necessarily agree with the values that I was brought up with. And so for me, it comes down to the idea of liberty and really what the, what the purpose of government is. And for me, the role of government, the proper role, is to preserve the life, liberty, and property of every single individual American. And so for me, as, as a liberty conservative, I see that as such. You know, even though my personal views are conservative, what I really want to do is I really want to go and serve on, on behalf of liberty for every single American. Thank you. That's a really good question. I think we should all pause and uh, just take into consideration the fact that in a Republican primary, you have candidates that are trying to differentiate themselves and call themselves conservatives. In other words, in the Republican Party, there's confusion about are we a conservative party or are we not? And so that's what I was alluding to before is our, conser our Republican Party has a decision that it needs to make. Is it going to be conservative or is it not? And my value proposition, my proposal to you all is we need to be a conservative uh, Republican Party. So that's why I call that out. It's very clear now that our government is hurting individuals. Our government is hurting citizens. If you look at the failure of the welfare state and what's happened over the past 50 years, it's been devastating. If you look at the African American community, which has been targeted by liberals in the welfare state, over 70% of the little babies now that are born are born without a father. And over 40% don't make it out of the womb alive. That's what the welfare state's done. We have an overarching, overreaching government that's going after our liberties, they're going after our privacy. And so what conservatism means is having government that focuses on its core competency and leave the rest up to us. Leave, it up, leave the rest up to the free market. Respect the Ninth and Tenth Amendments of our United States Constitution and limit the power and scope of government. And that's what it means to be conservative. Conservative Republican means to me the, uh, the ideals really instilled by our founding fathers. Um, uh, life, liberty, and property. Stacy mentioned those three. Those are uh, ideas that were not only a part of our Constitution, but there are God-given rights as well. And our founding fathers very wisely incorporated those into the Constitution. And as Republicans, we must instill those in the way we govern. Um, Ben Franklin was asked when he was coming out of the Constitutional Convention uh, by someone standing there, what kind of government have you given us? And he responded, a republic, as if you can keep it. Not a democracy, but a republic. And the Republican Party, I think, it stands for and instills those types of principles and needs to continue to focus on those each and every day. I also think about conservative and sort of the root of that is conserve. That means we are to be stewards and caretakers of the resources given to us by the voters and the taxpayers. And we need to make sure we're being fiscally responsible in the way those resources are being used each and every day. Uh, limited government does not mean no government. It means a government that does a few things but does them well. And so issues like water, transportation, and education, those must be addressed by our government. We simply cannot just say no to those issues, we've got to find smart, workable solutions to them. And so for that reason, I think a conservative Republican holds dear to the conservative principles, but also fights hard to find solutions. 